Hey guys, what's up? It's your favorite girl, Bex21, and I'm back at with another video here on my health channel. I'm sorry if my makeup looks like girl take it off okay this is the, literally the end of the day and i'm just like i have to get this video out i need to film i have so many videos to edit y'all have no idea but i want to get back to this pcos series and let you guys know about these medications and like the trials and the things that i've been doing trying to keep and help maintain my pcos so as you guys know in my previous videos i talked about using this okay which is black co-wash i'm not going to talk too much about it because it's already in those other videos if you want to know more details that's what i use okay so so you guys can go on the other video. I'll leave it down below and link it on top, whichever side. I decided to go ahead and try this, okay? Natural progesterone. And the reason why I decided to do this, um, it was actually a health practitioner. She had introduced me to, into trying the black co-wash and I did and I love it. Like black co-wash has been the best thing that has happened to me. And so she mentioned progesterone. I did some research and as we know, Progesterone usually helps your hormones actually get balanced. So I'm like, I can't, I don't see why progesterone wouldn't help me. Of course, progesterone is going to help me, sis. And I was really hyped into the experience. So I stopped taking my black wash for like two days. And then I started taking that. Let me tell you, sis. Okay, so the first day, I felt better. Second day, I felt better too. I felt good. Um, Once the third day hit, my boobs were really sore. Almost like period sore. Like they were extremely sore. They were swollen. It was hurting. And then the next day, it was like aching. I felt like I had to squeeze my titty like I was milking something or like. I had a baby or something like it just felt like a lot of pressure built up so I, I like felt like I had to squeeze it which I there's only been one other time where I've had that issue when my hormones were trying to get balanced and so I was like I don't know about this then I had really bad PMS like <laughs> the next day i was really mad i was super irritable i was pissed off at everything everybody things just weren't working right for me and like anything was just having me go off the rail and like i've never really been like that then after that it kind of settled so i was like okay maybe it's just you know new i just i like to test things out because i'm like i never know this could be something new it could just be the hormones changing you know i am changing products so i don't know what's going on baby let me tell y'all okay after about two Two and a half weeks I gained about 10 to 7 like 7 to 10 pounds I said I stepped on a scale because I felt kind of big but like I was like I don't know maybe I'm tripping I said oh hell no hell no baby I stopped taking it immediately I don't think that I mean maybe the natural progesterone works for some people I definitely think if you're first starting out that maybe the progesterone will work good with good for you or maybe even progesterone oil if you're first starting out pcos you just found out or you just found out you have a hormone hormonal imbalance and you're in the experimental phase i think that it definitely could work for you but for me black co-wash works so well i want to do more research on black co-wash though because i'm not sure if it's just the best thing you know and i want i want us to find something that is the best thing for us the most effective thing the thing that's going that's going to harm us the less and treat us the best okay so far black co-wash i stand by 100 percent. i will leave all of that down below but I'll, and i'll also leave down below the progesterone that i tried so if you guys are new one thing that i want to tell you guys about truly balancing your hormones that has really helped me make sure my periods were better all kinds of stuff is fasting and i know it sounds like what but seriously fasting I, I fast essentially like once a month i mean okay so i fast every born day which my born day is saturday right okay so i fast every saturday but there's every month i fast about three days five days whatever i feel like i'll fast and I noticed that it helps replenish my body. Like I've been fasting on this cycle, actually a majority of my cycle, I'm ending my cycle now. The blood is so red, it's rich, it doesn't look old. There's a couple of times where I've had old blood, but for the most part, it, the blood doesn't look old. It's bright, new, fresh, which is, that's what your, your blood is supposed to look like. Um, old things that were inside my body are now coming out. Like, you know, you, you we get tissue and all that stuff lost, but I don't feel depleted. You know, that's, I mean, for you, it might be a challenge. Okay. Maybe you could only do one day, you know, but I do water, juice, and tea. And the only juice that I drink is, um, 
like fresh fruit juice so you go to sprout whole foods they have them in jars or you make your own and i will drink that okay that's like good but you need to make sure you dilute it a little bit with water because it can really harm your kidneys so that's super important and i also drink red raspberry leaf tea if i'm on my cycle that's what i was drinking a lot to help replenish my uh uterus it was actually helping strengthen my uterus and give me more energy so that was great um i also meditate so that helps and praying helps you as well but you know balancing the hormones it, it helps like it's helped me you know I, I share everything that's helped me i still use cotton pads sometimes i use the honey pots pads her pads actually work very well i was very unsure about it because of the mint but it's not bad but i'm still using the cotton ones that i talk to you guys about occasionally i'll use honey pot but for the most part i use these ones that i use um i'll again leave everything down below but i want you guys to know that like the fight's not over okay if anything works for you guys that's natural okay we're talking herbs we're going to to the natural the natural the natural <laughs> no but seriously we want the natural herbs we want the natural uh stuff we don't want the chemicals no more d crino incinol no more incinol none we're not doing that anymore okay we're sticking to the ruta to the tuta i hope that was informative i know like it wasn't that long of a video or that much information because i like got off of it fast you know <laughs> there wasn't like there's nothing extra to talk about because i literally was just like off of it like that after i i had my symptoms and issues because i wasn't gonna damage my body to just sit here and be like oh well let me keep doing this and keep gaining weight hell no i've done too much and lost too much weight to get there um i also want to mention exercise is going to benefit you guys a lot i know i know i know i know i know try chloe ting's workouts and lily lily zebra or sing or something literally something anyway she's australian <clears throat> super skinny white girl um, but her workouts are quite intense, but they're short. And those workouts will really help you. So, you know, I definitely recommend you guys work out essentially every day. Again, I know it's hard, but we should be working out every day, okay? That's what's going to help keep us strong, keep our uterus strong, keep us balanced. It's going to help balance our hormones, okay? So fasting, you know, once a month, this is not. Now, if you have an eating disorder, don't fast. This is not for you. Click off. <laughs> okay i'm not talking to you but for those people who don't you know and i definitely recommend as you do it make use spiritual intention to fast okay don't just fast because you're trying to lose weight or this this and that um fast with spiritual intention it'll be a lot easier for you okay don't say i didn't warn you anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching i love each and every one of you sending you big hugs and blessings not blessings look at the definition